Goodbye, potatoes. Ah, uh, fare thee well. Oh man. Hey, what's up guys? I'm Vortech and I am here in Volcano Block. This is a relatively new mod pack. I think it's been updated recently. Kind of uh, hit hit some of the trending pages. And so we've actually created a Volcano Block server. I'll give you some info on that in a little while. But essentially it's like Skyblock, except you're presumably in a giant volcano and you start on this lovely little grass island surrounded by cobblestone. Um, now this offers a lot of advantages, as you'll see in a moment. Uh, the main thing we're going to focus on today is just getting a nice start. This is just going to be a normal Volcano Block Let's Play. We'll see how far we get with it. Um, and the quest guide, I've played this a little bit just to get acclimated. The quest guide is, is pretty nice. It's straightforward, but it also kind of lets you learn on your own. So I'm stuck here with nothing but this book and this knife. Desperate times call for desperate measures, I guess. Now. What's that organ called that you don't need again? Was it the appendix? Or maybe the pancreas? So, it's alluding to me being stuck on an island with a book and a knife. We already know the book is the quest book. So what's this knife? Well, this knife is from a mod called Cannibalism. So we're already left pretty uneasy. Um, the way it works is you hold shift and you right click. <laughs> And you'll notice my heart's going down, and I'm getting some Vortex flesh in my inventory. I can give this to my friends, um, or I can keep it for myself. I'm assuming I can eat it. Yep, desperate times. I'm so grossed out. Call for desperate measures. Uh, but with this flesh, I have satisfied um, <laughs> the, the quest guide, almost. There's one more thing we can do with it we could turn it into bone meal. So I have an early game food source and I have bone meal, which is nice. And if we open the quest book, we get our reward, meat kebab, which is probably a little bit better than eating the flesh off of my arms, I would assume. So now you're kind of seeing <laughs> just how the quest book works. So going through here, uh, it's like most quest books going to get more and more complicated um, We're not this isn't a walkthrough. I'm gonna be skipping parts. Uh, I'll, I'll keep you guys posted on my progress, but we'll be Coming in and out and, and I'll, I'll show you guys my you know my progress as we go But what's nice is it's like okay get a wooden hoe and you're like well you haven't shown me how to do that ba 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 meal sweet so from here I'm just going to use the bone meal I got to accumulate some supplies. In this case, we're looking for sticks. They've changed the crafting recipe for the hoe, and I know this already. That's some sugar cane, nice. I know this already because I've, I've, like I said, I've done the first few quests. I've played it a little bit, and I'm just going to get what I need here and make myself. Oh, jeez, I got to stab myself more, or I can. Now we can eat some more vortex flesh, and or we can forego eating vortex flesh and get another stick. So that'll be good. There we go. Three sticks will make a hoe. Like so. There we go. So, just like that, I got some meat patties. It's, it's feeding me pretty well now. I don't know what they're made of, or rather who they're made out of, but we have them. And uh, hold down shift to crouch to accelerate the growth of crops. We basically acknowledge that we now know how to do that. And uh, in all of the grass punching... Um, I would assume that uh, I got some some seeds, but what's interesting is actually it does not look like I did. And the last time I played this, I definitely did. I wonder what's going on there. Aha! Normie seeds. Okay. So, normie seeds can be planted like that. And uh, if we hold down shift... You'll notice these little uh, fart clouds spewing about, whatever you want to call them. And we are actually accelerating the growth of these seeds. So they don't take long from here, and we're going we're gonna to be able to get a lot of different things from normie seeds. So if I punch it, I get... Oh, it wasn't fully grown. I'm dumb. The test is to right-click it. You right-click it, and uh, you'll get more. So... We're going to go back and continue planting these down. And we can actually accelerate the growth of, of more than one at a time if we kind of stand in the middle of them, which is nice. 
So this will only become more efficient as we go. But we're not going to be using these for long. Uh, we're going to get what we need from these pretty quick. And uh, we're actually going to be discovering a lot of different seeds, as you'll see in a moment. So we'll go through and harvest all these. And uh, I'm not sure how many more of those I'll need to grow, but essentially the quest book was telling us to get a specific seed here. Somewhat strange seeds. We're going to need artisian seeds, which are... Arti artisian? I, I don't know. Don't, don't ask me to read things. Uh, four normie seeds make up that. Okay, easy enough. We actually can make two of those if we want, so let's do it. And there we go. Uh, the quest book is satisfied, which means so am I. We get some more bone meal, and we get a guide to unique crops. Now, this is where things start to feel overwhelming. Guide to unique crops by, uh, crops by me. I made, I made this book. I, I didn't. So it's a quick introduction about the crops, and all of these categories are actually just different types <laughs> you look up, of, uh, of crops that you're going to use throughout your journey. And then each one you click on will have a, uh, you know, a picture. And then the next page, these plants are pretty crafty. They're the next step you need to get, uh, to get in order. What? Uh, to craft uh, the other seeds, you'll need nine of them, which is a three by three square, with the center one being grown last. After that, it is just a matter of dropping the desired ingredients on top of the center plant, upon which it will automatically try crafting the output once all nine plants have the ingredients. Uh, the order you put the ingredients in doesn't matter. So we're essentially making a crafting table out of flowers, as I understand it, which is just great so I guess I'm still gonna need to harvest these things for a bit because I, I think I guess I'm gonna need nine of these seeds and so my grind begins I'll have to uh, not grind very long actually we already have 11 <laughs> I'll have to do this a couple more times uh, while I wait for these crops to grow I figured I would explain briefly that yes I am on a server this is what's known as our Vogetopia server if you followed either of my channels for a bit, you may have heard me mention Vogetopia a couple of times. Uh, it is the sub-server I open up to the most supportive of viewers, and as always, just thank you guys for being here. Just, just that alone is awesome, but those who go above and beyond and subscribe on Twitch at the Tier 2 level are allowed to play on the Vogetopia server, if they opt into it, of course. And, uh, yeah, you'll need to be on our Discord, you'll need to be a Tier 2 Twitch sub, or... Uh, we do offer the same benefit to people on Patreon. If you'd like to go that route instead, it is linked down below. And since this is going on to YouTube, um, that's probably uh, the route I can imagine a lot of people taking. So <laughs> either way, you can play on it if you so desire. But just the fact that you're watching today is awesome. And uh, if you would like to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel for more videos, of course, that would be awesome too. Uh, another great way to support what I'm doing here on the internet. Um, but yeah, this last round of crops should be uh, should be enough, I think. Let's see. Nope, I'm just terrible at math. Never mind. Now, did I need to make nine of these things? I don't know. We have to harvest an artigia plant to acquire a crafting table, it says. So, I guess I'll just plant one and see what the deal is. If I just kind of crouch by it, let it grow, along with some more normie seeds... Um, I, I guess we, we harvest it for a crafting table? That grew pretty quick. Is that, is that, oh, there we go. Nope, not yet. Right click, always right click. Don't, <laughs> don't just punch it and assume. Or maybe, should I punch it and assume? You know, at the right angle, it does kind of look a little bit like a crafting table. All right, I'm going to punch it. Oh, it worked. It worked. Okay, never never just right click. You gotta sometimes just punch the plants to get them to, to give you what you want. Alright, and uh, clearly it was a crafting station that was in the quest book from Tinker's Construct, so I'll make that. And of course I get more bone meal, which is awesome. And what's this lone quest down here? Baked potatoes. Toss the potatoes in the lava for a quick swim. What? Toss pot- What? Really? How do I get them back? <laughs> Wait, so- Oh, what? Okay, you gotta, you just gotta be 
patient, but then careful at the same time. So I can't stand too close, but once it looks cooked, I run back up and I get a cooked potato. No way! Okay. You know, I was impressed by the pack at first glance, thinking, okay, so they just added some mods and put lava all around you. I didn't realize there was additional crafting mechanics involving the lava. That's very impressive. I need four of them. Okay, I stopped short. That, it's like popcorn. It's awesome. Keep cooking. There we go. Ha! <laughs> That's great. I, what am I going to be doing with all this bone meal? Oh my goodness. And uh, the next thing I need is a drying basin. So now that we have our crafting station, uh, I guess I'll just pop that right... Let's take it off the cobble... Er, off the grass and onto the cobblestone. I hope it doesn't catch fire, uh, but I'm, I don't. I'm gonna need this grass for like farming, so I don't want to like crowd it. And uh, ugh, we need more sticks. So I guess we've found our use for our bone meal. We need enough sticks to make a drying basin because the recipe, as I recall from checking it last time I played, is just sticks in a U shape on the crafting table, like this. Boom, drying basin. Put it here. All right, now we have six wheat. We have our drying basin, and the quest book now wants us to continue. I need an oak bucket, and I need a hay bale. So the oak bucket is just ah, it looks like three sticks, and we should already know how to make a hay bale. It's nine hay, uh, which of course is going to take a little bit because we're not getting we're not getting um, regular seeds for the wheat. Oh, here we go. Let me try to grow one of these, actually. I'm going to take the place of where we had the Artigia seed or whatever. Does this crop growing trick work with the uh, normal Minecraft seeds? It doesn't look like it. You know what? After standing uh, just for a little bit longer, I moved a little bit. Now it's growing. Now it's really going. So that's... Uh, maybe this is not a bad way. I was just thinking, mm, yeah, there's no water. I guess that makes sense. And there, now it's just sprouting up. Cool. I'll take it. So now that I'm in my bucket, I got my block of wheat and everything, it wants me to get water in the bucket. So we're going to use the drying basin, actually, to yield water. And I guess the canon there is that there is moisture in the hay bale, and it's going to break down that hay bale and give us water. So it, it's kind of cool that we have different types of buckets. Uh, there's another mod, really popular in Minecraft, that allows you to make clay buckets. And I always look for it in mod packs because it's like a lot of mod packs limit you at the start. You know, you won't be able to get iron right away, so they're hard to come by. I appreciate that we have an alternative to the, the metal buckets once again in the oak bucket. So they gave me a stick as well, which is kind of cool. And we got our bucket of water. I wouldn't be surprised if it just evaporated <laughs> in my pocket. And uh, <laughs> that would be game over. Now it wants me to make a grass block. Crafted with wheat, wheat can also come from normie crops. Yes, so the crafting recipe, oh, very easy. Just four wheat makes a grass block. So nine wheat makes the hay bale, but four wheat makes the grass block. Um, now, so what I've done is I kind of, as I was kind of sitting here grinding this out, I did realize that, yes, I was getting wheat from the normie seeds. And, of course, wheat seeds give it as well. So I've been kind of mixing the two and just strolling over back and forth. And once something grows, I harvest it and keep going. So I have a decent little system going, but it, again, it is a grind. It does it does take quite a bit of time to get <laughs> to get anywhere. Um, I I know I could plant more. I could definitely use more of this grass uh, that I have here and 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 till it for more soil. But I just feel like pretty soon it's going to ask me to make a tree. I'm going to wish I had the space, and I don't really have a lot of blocks to extend the island yet. So I'm trying to keep my my crop footprint very limited right now, and I don't want to ex I don't want to extend past this one column that I've created just yet. If I need to, I will. But I feel like I got a, a decent enough balance. It's taking some time, but I'm getting what I need. Now, to be fair, I I was saying I didn't make I didn't have any blocks to expand the island. We did just make five grass blocks. So I know yes, I could use those. <laughs> <laughs> um, after going down the list here, the next thing it wants me to do is cobalonia seeds. I'm not sure I'm reading that one right. Um, refer to your unique crops guidebook entry on artigia plants if you are having trouble creating this seed. Subtle hint, artigia is actually the crafting recipe here. You would, 
You would not be blamed, though, for thinking that this is a regular crafting table and, and going, oh, okay, cool, normie seeds and grass blocks, no problem. That's not going to work here. It literally wants you to place down on these crops, I assume, uh, this pattern so you can get cobblestonia seeds. Now, just to, be, just to test that theory, I am going to go ahead and try to make that here uh, because, you know... What if I'm wrong? Now, was it this pattern, or do I have this right? No, yeah, it was definitely uh, this in an X shape. So, it's not working, as I assumed. So, now we get to make this crafting table I was talking about. So, I feel like my crops have served their purpose, my normie crops. I'm going to get rid of them. And we'll, we'll keep the wheat ones there. But now, I like, like I feared, I'm going to need to till more soil. That's okay. And I have nine of these things, so we'll just plant these down. And I'm going to let them grow. Now, I've only quickly read that guidebook. I'm hoping that I'm doing this right, but essentially it wanted me to place down the items and it said it didn't matter what order, but that these had to be in a 3x3 three three grid. So if I can get all of these to grow like that, I guess I just throw the supplies in the middle of them and I get it back? I don't, we'll get back the, the recipe we want? I don't know. We'll, I guess we'll find out. Alright, let's just toss them in, I guess. It just... It put the grass blocks up there for me. Do you see that? Oh, yep. That's what I thought. Okay, that, it helps if the crops are actually fully grown. Um, some of them are almost fully grown. So now if I throw... One, two, three, four. One, two. It, there we go. Boom. What did I get? Where did it, where did it go? Oh, right there. Yes! Cobblonia seeds. We did it. Alright, now I'm assuming I plant these somewhere. More bone meal. So it wants me to make cobblestone. Cobblonia will emit cobblestone once it's fully grown and has lava and has lava on one side and water on the other side of its dirt patch. Oh. Oh, does it? Okay. Wait a minute. Is, does the guidebook show me that? Because that's... I need to see that. Uh, let's let's find Cobblonia. Uh-huh. May look a little rocky, but they can prove to be quite useful in some circumstances. Once fully grown, you may have water on one side of the soil. It's on. And lava on the opposite side for free cobble being given out at random. And I got to get a stack of this stuff. So, interesting. So, if I if I pop out a cobblestone block and put down a dirt block, okay, we can do this, right? We're, this isn't hard. This is okay. This will be fine. Let's let's grab the bucket of water and let's. We don't have a pickaxe, so I guess we'll have to. I do they have to be source blocks? I don't know. Should I? Where should I do this? Oh, no. Okay, here. My first instinct was here. Let's just go with that. So I'm going to pop this out. And there's probably going to be more lava underneath it, too. But that's okay. There we go. And then we'll take a grass block, which I need to, I need to craft. Because we already used them all. And we're going to put that here. That's going to be the soil. Then right here... We're going to put water, and then we can plant the cobblonia seed. The <laughs> Now the issue will be, hey, where is the cobblestone going to go? Is it going to sit on top of the flowers like it did pleasantly on top of our flower crafting grid? Or is it just going to pop and fall in lava constantly? Oh my gosh. Wait a minute. What was that? I'm just... If I hold shift, it just pours cobblestone into my inventory. So if I stop holding shift... I mean, that was fast. How, how long does it take before it gives me more? I gotta say, this right here, this stupid little feature, just sold me on this pack. I was, up till now, I was like, this is cool. This has some cool features. But I am, now I'm sold. You just gave me a cobblestone, gen an early game cobblestone generator that I can, like, make sense of. That's freaking cool. Alright. So, the quest book is happy, and so am I, because I can expand this tiny, 
stupid little island. This is not the quest book. Okay, here we go. So I get more grass blocks and I get a stone wand. It knows. It knows I want to expand this island. So it just gave me a building wand, which will make it really easy. And now it wants me to make stone tools. A stone pickaxe, a stone hoe. The, the recipes are unchanged. Good. And we'll get some more grass blocks. And everything's starting to make sense. Now I can make a furnace. We can make some beet charcoal. Block of beet charcoal. Beet charcoal. And we cook beets in a furnace and we get beet charcoal. That sounds great. I'm guessing that's a fuel source. Awesome. And, and we're getting cobblestone falling all over the place. I wonder if there's an item collector, a primitive item collector I can put on here. So we don't lose all of our uh, cobble. It's going to start ejecting. Let's put these. Can I... I can connect them into a big, large chest. How is this primitive? This is perfect. This is like all the storage I'll ever need for the early game. I thought it'd be like tiny inside this chest. That's awesome. I'm nerding out now over this. <laughs> this is this is silly. And, uh, alright. Nice. I guess from here... I just need to I need to kind of like regroup. We we have our building wand. I think the next logical step is to begin expanding our island. I move my wheat seeds over by the water just to free up the space and kind of consolidate things. <laughs> and just crouching all the way over here, I was trying to regrow this grass. Just crouching all the way over here is is triggering that plant that's spitting cobblestone all over the place. <laughs> and so it didn't regrow the grass like I had hoped. I need to start Hitting, hitting it with some bone meal um, to get some more supplies, some more sticks. But uh, Oh, now it's growing. But it does grow cobblestone pretty much wherever I am on this tiny little island. The other thing I'm finding is that the building wand, as nice it is, as it is to have one right away, uh, is a little bit tough to use because it, do it doesn't cooperate with the lava. And if we build the platform up, I'm sure we'll be fine. We can, we can definitely do that. Uh, I have to decide how I want it to look. Whenever I play Skyblock and, and mod packs like this, I always make the mistake at the beginning to just rush and expand my island. And then when I start to care about the design of things, it's too late. I've, I've made a very stupid platform. So it's kind of good that it doesn't work because I was about to do that again. Now we can kind of carefully plan out how we want this platform to be, how we want it to look, and... Uh, you know, go from there, and I'll, I'll use the building wand to fill in, you know, the the larger portions of it. Once we kind of raise it up, this 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 part we're standing on here is probably going to be the only part I sink into the lava itself. We'll, we're going to raise ourselves up a little bit, I think. This strategy did a few things. Um, we've managed to expand our island, and it feels a little bit safer. We can walk around here now without feeling like we're going to fall right off the edge. And as I expand the platform, obviously that becomes less of a concern. Uh, we have a barrier now, so as this plant starts spitting out cobblestone randomly, it's not falling in lava anymore, which is cool. Uh, no telling if it'll clip through the stairs or not. I don't know, but I think it'll be fine. And the third thing it did is it made it pretty dark in the middle. And I think that if I were to leave this area, mobs would be able to spawn. And I'm not, I'm not ready for a mob farm yet. <laughs> so... I guess we'll just kind of see how that goes. Um, one of the things it wants me to make here in a sec is a furnace. And I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And I guess we'll keep putting little crafting objects uh, down here. And I actually want to start cooking... I mean, I know it wants us to make beet charcoal. So let's just... Let's humor it. Let's put beets in there and get our beet charcoal. This is going to be our early fuel source, which is fine. I want to start cooking up cobblestone. And the reason is that just thinking about the design, okay, and we get to see how much beet, a beet charcoal cooks, uh, just thinking about the design of this platform, I don't want to make a giant, ugly cobblestone platform. So I'm actually going to make some stone bricks, and not a ton, just, just a few to give us an extra space to work in, and that's going to be the floor. We'll use cobblestone as kind of the frame of our build, but we'll use kind of stone bricks, I guess, um, to start with, to give us like a nice little pad to work on outside of this little garden we've created. So I think it'll be cool. It looks like one beet charcoal cooks three beets. So I'm just going to keep cycling this until we have enough beet charcoal, I guess, to cook some cobblestone. That's not going to be... Oh, man. And I'm going to need a lot of cooked cobblestone to do what I want to do. So that's not going to be super efficient. I'm, I might need to rethink this plan. 
alternatively, I guess I could use grass as the, the block that separates the cobble from the, uh, you know, uh, cobble. <laughs> I don't want it to look like one big cobble slab, so I, I guess maybe grass is the more economical choice. I thought stone bricks would look cool. The, this does not offer as much charcoal as I had hoped. At this point, if you're having trouble getting sticks, you can make heavy shears. Harvest grass plants with them and craft them into sticks. Heavy shears. Okay. What are heavy shears? Let's find out. Heavy shears. Oh. Heavy shears. Two heavy ingots, which are when you smelt heavy mix lump, which is... a wait, Oh, okay. Any, any charcoal, any plant charcoal, smooth stone, and dirt. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Uh... There's another thing. I was just looking at the quest book, reading ahead. It also wants me to make a crushing block. And that's going to be a heavy block, which is nine heavy ingots. And you saw that it, and it wanted even more. So crushing block. It wanted three heavy ingots, a heavy block, smooth stone, and cobblestone. Remember how I said I'd make some smooth stone? Well, let's just do that now. Let's just... Go ahead. I'm going to save a beet charcoal to cook more beets with, but the rest of that's going to be used to make a little bit of smooth stone to kind of get me through these next few quests. So this will obviously yield five heavy mixed lumps. Uh, we don't want to do that because we need to make some more beet charcoal. Or, of course, yeah, we saw we can make charcoal out of just about any run-of-the-mill plant. Uh, but that's okay. We'll we'll stick to that there. And then... Oh, shoot. Now I'm, now I'm screwing up. Okay, so we can, let's make some of these. Looks like it doesn't matter how you put them in the crafting bin. Uh, so heavy mixed lump. We should probably make another furnace. We have plenty of cobble to do so. Okay. And we can get ourselves the ingots we need. I don't know how much of this beet charcoal it's going to take to process these. I guess... I didn't really count. I, I guess it just does three per beet charcoal. But we can get the shears and, and then start getting more sticks, which will be nice because I kind of need them for a few things. Uh, this is eating into my wheat uh, um, <laughs> that I was going to use to expand the island with grass blocks. But, I mean, you kind of got to prioritize. And right now, I'm getting by on this little tiny spit of land, so I'm okay. But pretty soon, I am going to want to expand for sure. All right, let's try this out. With heavy shears, we get the grass, just like it said. And what's the recipe here? If we hit U on grass, we can see two grass, just like we would with planks. Gives us sticks. That is a lot easier. And now I can make a shovel, which I needed a little while ago, because to make my dirt lumps, or to make my dirt, to make my heavy lumps, or whatever you want to call these ingots, heavy ingots, heavy lumps, you need dirt blocks, not grass blocks. So we have to place them down, and then dig them up. All right, one crushing block from the Hearthwell mod. I've never used this mod before, so this should also be an interesting endeavor for me. Uh, luckily it comes with a handy guidebook, and uh, we have a lot to learn here. Introduction. Heavy things. Hearth dusts. Hearth trees. Oh my gosh. I'm, no, I'm definitely not going to sit here and read all this. Um, but yeah, we learned how to make the heavy lump mix and the shears. It looks like we can also make empty rods. Hold this right in your hand. Draw some mysterious essence for yourself. Oh boy, so this is a, this must be a magic mod. Then there's Hearth Trees with Mysterious Fertilizer. If that's the case, this is the third m plant mod in the early game, because Batania comes up pretty soon too, I believe. Um, maybe Batania's a little bit later, but I definitely know Batania's a big part of this pack. So, that's pretty cool. The crushing block. Uh, as things begin to get a little more advanced and I get a little more intimidated, I think this is a great time to call it a video. So, if you enjoyed what you saw, if you want to see more, I do upload the occasional YouTube video, so I will, I, or I will say I hope you subscribe um, and hit that like button if you've enjoyed. 
Um, I should have a couple more of these going out on the channel. If suddenly you're kind of like, where's this volcano block guy? Where'd he go? You might want to check out my Twitch channel, also linked down below, because eventually I can see myself streaming this on my Twitch channel. Um, the only reason it's on the YouTube channel first is because uh, I, I'm recording this at a time where I'm taking a little break from Twitch. So uh, it was a good opportunity to bring some stuff to the channel. But uh, yeah, in a perfect world, I would keep making as many YouTube videos as I can, and uh, you may see me here more often. We'll just we'll just kind of see how things play out. So I do hope you, you subscribe. I hope you enjoyed, and uh, I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. And for like the tenth time, be sure to check the description below for anything uh, you you may need to know about playing on the server or anything like that. So catch you guys next time. Peace out.